Hola, ¿qué tal? Muy buenos días, buenas tardes, buenas noches, donde quiera que se encuentren, tengan un excelente y bendecido día. Hello, good morning, good evening, good night. Any place you guys are located at the moment you're watching this video, have a blessed day. Ok, hoy vamos a ver la función FSC, que no es nada más ni nada menos que la búsqueda compara y comparación o comparación de archivos. La semana, hace dos o tres semanas, hice un videito acerca de cómo buscar datos en una una array, una array, una tabla de información. Se usan más o menos como para los scanners. Y se pone información para saber hacia dónde lo vamos a enviar. Lo enviamos línea 1, línea 2, línea 3, línea 4, línea 5. De acuerdo al producto que sea. Vamos solamente a centrarnos en lo que es el FSC. File Search and Compare. Ok. Uh, eh, debido a que el video que hice hace dos semanas. Me comentaba un muchachón por ahí. Que había una manera más fácil de hacerlo, ¿sí? Correcto. Y si yo uso cuatro o cinco líneas, se puede hacer con tan solo una o dos líneas aquí, ¿ok? De código. Sí, aquí está el que yo hice. Para buscar la locación y luego mover los datos. Estoy utilizando una, dos, tres, cuatro, cuatro líneas de código aquí en esta se utilizan dos el resto o tres prácticamente tres tres líneas el resto es solamente que le puse yo para saber cómo funciona el asunto cómo mover datos a ah, capo two three weeks ago i made one file that way we can look on a radio data for some information that it can be like a When you use an scanner, you scan a part, then the part goes through, goes by, and you can look into a database or or, or an no database on an array of data. Okay. And somebody in the channel, somebody in Facebook, asked me about. Well, basically, he suggested that there's a better or an easier way to do it, and yes, he is correct. Uh, using the file search and compare or FSC it can be done it's really easy okay this is how I did it it's already made okay but we can test it and we can see that both ways are working correctly okay as always remember if you have a question go to the instructions help doing a right click over the instruction si necesitamos alguna ayuda estamos atorados o lo que sea Botón de la derecha sobre el nombre, ok. FSC, botón de la derecha y nos da la ayuda. Do right click over the name, right? That way we can get the help. And it's going to tell you exactly, you know, how to do it, how to use it. After that, it's going to be up to you how you move data with copy or move. Okay. Basically, let's let's start here. Um, bear, let me see here. Let me go to parts array. Let's make a new one. Okay, parts array. Let's put something on seventy. Okay, lane. Let's put lane seventy. The string we are going to be looking for. Let's say uh, FSC, FS, FSC, FSC. Let's apply, okay. Back here, let's put 70. You know, this is my array. I got a 500 tax array, okay. Now, back here, let's look FSC. And let's hit control T. And as you guys know, we put it on 70. This line here copies 
uh, what we're looking for into product ID. Okay, what is product ID? It's on a string. Okay, right click, edit. Here's my string. That is the string I'm looking for. Okay, this is the expression here. Product ID. Since they gotta be equal, I'm looking for in the parts array. This part here, sort table search, is the control tag, okay? That's the control tag, as you can see here. Control tag. Okay. Then this is the part is going to be changing from in between 0 to 500, okay? Then the data I'm looking for, I'm comparing is string serial. It's exactly where I put the name. Okay, when this one is done, when he finds, he will move string serial, which is this one here, into serial, and also is going to move the lane. My case, and the case of sample we put before is 70, okay? He will move 70 into here. Then it's going to unlatch the fine bit and also it's going to reset the instruction, the sort table, okay? This one here is used for me to show that the information has been moved. If nothing is found, it's going to move 999 into lane. That is in case we want to make an alarm or whatever to let it know that nothing was found, okay? Let's toggle this one. And bingo. He found it. Okay. Now, let's make one that is not there. Let's find a test. Okay. Test doesn't exist. This one is going to go to 450. Because that is my limit here, 450. Okay. Now we come here. And this one goes to 500. Why it goes to 500? Well, because 500 is my array. Okay. And since nothing was found, it moves 999. Okay. Since nothing was found here, still remembers the last one. Let's put a new one. Let's try. I think I got something called YouTube. Let's find it. It's telling me that this is in the location 300. Okay, let's come here. Here's telling me that's on a 300. And here's the string we're looking for. Okay, he, he moved 300 here. Okay, that is how it works. Now let's check parts array. Let's go to 300. 150, 160, let's see, let's see, let's see, almost there, 300, 300, okay, yep, we got 300, YouTube, and 300 here, Then basically that is how FSC works, size, here's exactly the same thing, we get the help, okay, 
source can be seen in the real structure string okay what it does it just looks increases okay pim 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 whatever it keeps looking and looking and looking in until it goes through the whole array of data okay structure text As the name says here, size instruction finds the size of a dimension and array. If I got 500 tags, on my uh, let's say my array, that's what it looks for the 500. Okay. Entonces, lo que tenemos aquí es un array de 500. Hay 500 etiquetas, ¿sale? O 500 tags que tenemos aquí. 500 tags in this array. Ok, that's why this one counts to 500. That is what this one does. It looks for the array. That way this one goes and counts and looks into all the 500. Así este puede ir y buscar hasta el 500. La información de Product ID debe ser igual al Parts Array. Y esta parte es la que cambia, que es la posición, la cual se encuentra en la de control. ¿Sí? Se encuentra en unos brackets. Ese es el que va cambiando. Es el, y este es el donde está buscando. ¿okay? Cuando la encuentra, nos mueve la información de allí a aquí, de aquí a Lane o aquí también. Me va a desbloquear esto me la va a hacer un latch para que no esté activado como yo soy medio flojo así se queda activado si no lo tengo este sigue buscando y buscando y buscando ¿por qué? porque este está activo todo el tiempo de esta manera lo encuentra lo dejamos que descanse que ya no siga buscando me lo resetea sí y si no lo encuentra, mueve el 999 aquí. Espero les sirva de algo, de ayuda. Si lo necesitan para buscar alguna información, allí está. Y una vez más, sí. Mi manera de hacerlo es esta. Me gusta mucho. Sale. Porque aquí yo puedo controlar el tiempo de búsqueda. Ok. Puedo hacer que vaya más lento y así yo puedo ver cómo va cambiando el número que va aquí. Que es prácticamente esto. Es casi casi lo mismo, solo es un poquito, digamos, esta es la vieja escuela. Esto es lo nuevo. This is the new function. This is the old school, ok. I hope you guys, this one helps you out a little bit. Not used for scanners, it can be used to sort or to look for anything you guys want to, ok. Then you can move more information. Whatever you have, color, you have length, dimensions, whatever, whatever. Esto les ayudaría a encontrar cualquier información y moverla. Aquí se puede utilizar, digamos, escaneas algo y lo mandas al, digamos, a la línea 1 o la línea 2. O se va, que no pasó la inspección, se va para atrás. Lo regresamos o lo echamos a la basura. You can use this to sort. Uh, parts, you know, goes to lane one, lane two, or line one, line two, or it goes, it gets rejected and send it back to the line, whatever is the occasion, whatever is the case. But that is how it works, okay? I put 999, but you guys can put any number you want here. Even it can be in a string, but you gotta use copy, then a string here and copy whatever you guys want to, okay? To a different location. Well, I hope this one helps. Guys, thank you very much. Thanks. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And you guys know how to do it, okay? Thank you very much. Have a good day. Gracias. Si no se han suscrito, pues ya saben. Ahí está. Suscríbanse. Ayúdenme. Y gracias por todo. Espero les sirva. Y voy a poner este también en mi página web, okay? Para que la puedan bajar. Voy a remover el... El password, ya no va a haber password, pero estamos trabajando en eso. Bueno, Dios me los bendiga, me los cuide. Nos vemos. God bless you guys. See you guys in the next time.